Oh, Trent, keep your camera on. Yeah, Trent. Where'd you go? You know what? I'm even gonna throw a short on and turn mine on. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone with face cam. Let's go. <sighs> All I can tell is this game is going to be this. The end is not. The end is not. <laughs> the end is not. <laughs> Thank you, voice leader audio mixer. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, alright, alright. Uh, I think I got one. Okay. Side of a road. Okay, side of a road. Seth runs, runs into the back of Michael like a little fender bender. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Beautiful, okay. Alright, alright, I'll start this out. Okay, scene, let's go. Let, let, let me know what, let me know. Go. Hey, man, you just hit me. What do you mean I just hit you? I was slowing down for the car in front of me, you just ran me over. What are you talking about? I'm in front of you! How is that possible? <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's just calm down. Let's be normal adults. You know, nobody got hurt at least. Let's just, you know, figure out what the damage is and go from there, okay? There's no need flying off the handle. Alright. Oh, look at that. OnStar just wrote me. They just, I have a text message and it, it says... Uh, it's got OnStar text message. It says, Hello, old friend. I heard your penis was caught in the window. What? How is it? How, so how is... What? I'm not sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm sorry. I had a little spelling error, I but... Think, I think so, someone has hacked on yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, that, they know me so well. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> I don't so want to know anymore about, about your private life. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what well, are you going to do got, about this? You, you've got OnStar. Fortunately, I have Geico. And, you know, Geico Insurance could save you hundreds on car insurance, 15 minutes. But anyway, they've actually changed their slogan. It used to be 15 minutes, save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. This is their new slogan. It's right here on my insurance card. Their slogan is, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Okay. <laughs> So, apparently so. I don't know. I, I thought there was a difference in companies. It's a good thing nobody got hurt, otherwise it just wouldn't be so funny. That, that's true. That's absolutely right. Oh, uh, man. I feel, like, I, I, feel like I, from, I feel like I know you from somewhere. Uh, but, uh... I don't, I don't recognize you, know, you but... Who, who, who... Okay, we, I gotta, we gotta call somebody. We, we gotta get these cars out of the road. Well, we probably should Hold call on, the wait. Department of Transportation or Highway Safety Patrol or something like that. Hold on, wait. Uh, I, I gotta write down. I gotta write down an estimate for my insurance. Hold on, let me write this down. Okay, I'm currently huh. texting uh, at nine one star nine one one to to get a policeman here. Hold on, let me write this down. Luckily, okay. the damage is too severe, but my sex life has been shattered. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> this car, this this Mustang that you that you just ran into was every was, was exactly what brought all the women to my yard. Oh, I thought you were gonna and say. I, I I thought you were gonna say it was your Mustang that was your sex life. I was gonna get really worried. <laughs> really worried. No, so this this car got me more bad than anything in this. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know, I, I apologize for that. I'll, you know, I'll pay for all the damages. And I actually have good news. The policemen actually, they, they texted me back. And according to them, are those real? <laughs> 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 Apparently the cops don't believe your car is real. Nope, they don't believe our cars are real. They think that they're, they're not real. Nope. Um... So I guess we're out I of luck as far hope. as the police helping us. Yeah, I agree. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's nothing, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing you know what? else to do but walk hand, Hold but, on. But walk no, I got a great idea. Down to our insurance company. You know, I got a great idea. I think I got a better idea. I got a great way of mode of transportation for us. What? <laughs> yeah, mine as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Oh. Oh no! Wait, I I know I know a better way. Why don't you show some leg? Okay. You got 
lakes than I do. E- <laughs> you wanted it, you got it. I just farted a little. Anyway. <laughs> these two are in, these two are in line at a convention center waiting to meet wait, waiting to meet uh, waiting to meet uh, John Cena. Okay. Cena. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Are you going to meet John Cena? I hope so. That's what I'm in line for. Hopefully, he, how hopefully much, he doesn't how much, time. To... How much did you pay for your tickets? About about five hundred or so. It's worth it. It's John Cena. You, Come on, you lucky bastard! It took me a thousand dollars to get the damn tickets. Oh my! Oh well. I guess it's worth the wait and the money. Exactly. Can you believe the bad right thing away. in this? Oh. Say that again? <laughs> hey, did you know that John Cena is my boyfriend? Wow, oh um... <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, so Nikki Bella was a cover-up. Oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. It would seem so. I guess he doesn't want to come out of the closet just yet. But if he's your boyfriend, why did you still have to pay a thousand dollars? Couldn't you have gotten into this thing for free? Ah, Cena has needs. He doesn't want me to have anything for free in life. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, it's really funny. I mean, Cena, you know, has some weird battle cries now whenever, right before he does his finishing move. Like, his latest one apparently now is Ravioli, Ravioli, give me the Ravioli. <laughs> I don't understand it one bit, but... I guess he wants... I guess he wants you to put the Ravioli up his ass. <laughs> and if you did that, I will kill you. Because he's my man. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. I... Oh my god, here, Levi, say this is... <laughs> I've got my eyes on Alexa Bliss, so you have nothing to worry about. Uh, by the way, did you hear that Alexa Bliss fucked a guy named Kyle? <laughs> really? <laughs> of course, it's, it's the wrong one. I mean, come on. What kind of name is Kyle Matthews? Just stay out of the seat, Trent. Just <laughs> 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 Who the hell is Kyle Matthews? Said some guy far off in the distance. What? Well, that Kyle Matthews guy is the luckiest man on the face of the earth if that really happened. Oh, really? I know who you really are. I've seen your YouTube. You're Kyle Matthews! How dare you cover this story up? Well, you talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Say it, Kyle. Say it. Say it, Kyle. Say it. You have to. Well, you're not going to believe this, but I've got I've got some bad news for you. And I was unaware of this. I'm really, you know, I'm really pissed off because John Cena's my boyfriend too. <laughs> He's been two timing on us. You know what? Let's go kill him. That's a good idea. We're gonna go beat up John Cena. Okay, okay. Oh, Why'd you copy me, Seth? Come on! I, I love how Kyle saw the message and I knew it instantly. Oh I love how Kyle saw the message. Instantly his face kind of just jerked to the camera and I knew he had seen it. <laughs> Greg, doesn't that comment you have to participate in the next one? Oh, yeah, man. I'll pick the scene. I'll pick the scene. This one. This one is, oh, my oh, face hurts. Oh. Okay, okay. So the location is at uh, Talladega Super Speedway. Okay. And uh, you two are at a merch booth talking about. Um, John O'Clock. Huh? No. Talking about Vince McMahon, like we're fighting over the last about, Jamie McMurray uh, diecast. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, okay. You guys are at a merch booth fighting over a Jamie McMurray diecast. Okay. 
<laughs> Look, Trent, I, I understand. I know you're the biggest Jamie McMurray fan out there, but this is a 2017 scheme. Look at the number font. You hate that number font. Why do you want this diecast so bad? I'll have you know that Jay McMurray will make a special announcement. So, uh, so I want to know, like, like if he does want to change to another team, like, I want to have like, like, uh, as many of his diecasts as possible, even if they do have that ugly number font. Yeah, well, I don't even have any Jamie McMurray cars from when he drove the one car. This would be the only one I'll be able to get if he does make an announcement to another team. I mean, this is really important to me too. Well, well, Seth, I have you know that. His, well, his announcement, he's going to ask me to bury him. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he asks you to bury him, I think you'll be the one that will be able to convince him to go back to the old number font, probably, then. <laughs> but, but, Seth, you know how much I love Big Murray. Wouldn't you rather have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Con um, uh, diecast instead? Well, not really. I mean, you know, if, if you're going to marry Jamie, he can get you all the merch you want. You don't have to even buy this diecast. He could fill your entire bathtub with diecast. You know, okay, hold on. I, you know, I have a way that we can settle this, okay? See, my great-grandmother had this saying whenever... Uh, well, actually, no, she wasn't even alive when I was a kid. Wow, that's really <laughs> pathetic then. Uh, but, you know, whenever my, sister, whenever my sister and I would fight over things, whether it was cookies or whether it was over the best part in the play, she had this saying that, you know, would always kind of, you know, qualm things over, everything would settle down, and we'd be able to come to a reasonable decision. And she used to say, I wish I didn't have to see that. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 Seth, what is the that in question that she didn't want to see? I, I don't know what exactly. it was. I'm not really sure, especially with the fact that she wasn't even around when I was a kid. I don't know what it was she was able to see. Maybe she was up in heaven and saw things. I don't know what it was, but whatever the case, uh, yeah. Let's not go into my private life. Let's let's still talk about this diecast. I think it's uh, what we're basically <laughs> focusing on right now. So, you see, you know, I, I got an idea, okay? I got an idea. How about we both buy the die cast, you keep it at your house for half the year, I keep it at my house for half the year. But, but, I don't want to share it because Jamie drove it and he's going to drive this car right into that special place in my heart. And I don't want to have to share it with anybody. <laughs> 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 but if he drives it into that special place of your heart, die cast is metal. Isn't that gonna kill you? <laughs> I mean, I don't think you. I don't think you'd want to be killed by by your favorite driver. His love for me is strong enough to keep us both alive. <laughs> okay, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. I will let you have the die cast, provided that I am able to give the toast at your wedding breakfast. Okay? Would that would that be feasible? Would you know, there be McDonald's there? That's one of his primary sponsors. Probably will. Yeah, there probably would be McDonald's there. And you know what? I think that I would give a great speech. I've actually been working on a speech just in case, you know, someone decided to ask me to, you know, deliver a speech at their wedding breakfast. And I, it goes... Did someone just fart? <laughs> <laughs> you, see, uh, you know yeah. what? You know what? That was you know what? That was me who farted. I'm sorry. I mean, I gotta make some room for that Mac tonight. <laughs> I killed Michael.
She poses, she, po- she poses for Go Daddy. I mean, I mean, who doesn't love that, right? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's- oh, oh, man. man. I think it's done. I think it's done. I think it's over. Oh, Lord. (laughs)